three-dimensional anisotropic harmonic oscillator. An oscillator has the potential energy function u of x, y, z is one half k one prime, parentheses x square plus y square, plus one half k z prime, uh, k two prime z square, where k one prime is greater than k two prime. This oscillator is called anisotropic because the force constant is not the same in all three coordinate directions. It's different for the z direction. Part A, find the general expression for the energy levels of the oscillator. Part B, from your results in part A, what are the ground level and first excited level energies of this oscillator? And part C, how many states, different sets of quantum numbers, n sub x, n sub y, and n sub z, are there for the ground level and for the first excited level compared to the isotropic harmonic oscillator? This problem is very similar to the isotropic three-dimensional isotropic oscillator, harmonic oscillator. So let's start with the way we did in the previous problem uh, by writing the one-dimensional Schrodinger equation for the uh, oscillator minus h bar squared over 2m, second derivative d squared psi sub nx of x, dx square plus 1 over 2 um, k1 prime psi sub nx of x is equal to the corresponding energies e sub nx psi sub nx of x. The corresponding uh, energy levels are given by e sub nx is equal to nx plus 1 over 2, 1 over 2, h bar, omega 1, where omega 1 uh, is, so let's make this closer, omega 1 is square root of k1 prime over m. Okay, and then we have the y coordinate direction, the minus h bar squared over 2m, d squared psi n sub ny of y dy squared plus 1 over 2. It's the same force constant for the y direction, k1 prime. Uh, so here I had, I have missed an x square. x square. So here I have y square. y square, k1 prime, psi sub ny of y. This is equal to e sub ny of e sub ny psi sub ny of y with the corresponding energy levels e sub ny is equal to the quantum number n sub y plus 1 over 2. Um, since we have the same force constant for the y axis, it's the same frequency h bar omega 1. Now things will change for the z-axis. We have minus h bar squared over 2m second derivative d squared psi sub nz of z dz squared plus 1 over 2 z squared. The force constant is different. k2 prime psi sub nz of z is equal to energy e sub nz uh, psi sub nz of z the energy levels are given by e sub nz are equal to n sub z plus 1 over 2 h bar omega 2 
where omega 2 is now uh, k square root of k2 prime over m. Okay, now I take these three equations the same way I did in the uh, previous problem. I will multiply the first one with psi sub n y of y psi sub n z of z. This is multiplying the first equation. The second equation, psi sub n x of x, psi sub n z of z, multiplying the second equation, and psi sub n x of x, and psi sub n y of y, multiplying the third equation. And then I add them up. And what do I find? Similar to the previous problem, I find the three-dimensional an isotropic oscillator Schrodinger equation where the first term is minus h bar squared over 2m second partial derivative with respect to x plus second partial derivative with respect to y plus second partial derivative with respect to z of the wave function psi sub nx of x, psi sub ny of y, psi sub nz of z, which is the total wave function, plus 1 over 2, the potential energy term, now has the following terms, k1 prime x squared, plus y square, but now also a k2 prime z square. And this is multiplying the wave function psi sub nx of x, psi sub ny of y, psi sub nz of z. And this must be equal to the total energy n sub x plus n sub y plus 1 h bar omega 1 plus n sub z plus 1 half h bar omega 2 uh, multiplying the wave function psi sub nx of x psi sub ny of y and psi sub nz of z. So we can read the energy levels here. The energy levels are given by uh, n sub x plus n sub y plus 1 h bar omega 1 plus n sub z plus 1 over 2 h bar omega 2 where omega 1 is square root of k1 prime over m and omega 2 is square root of k2 prime over m okay so these are the energy levels we were after now we're going to find the ground state energy and the first excited state. Uh, so let's combine part B and C here uh, and also find the corresponding number of states. So let's start with the ground state. For the case of ground state, we have the following combination, n sub x, n sub y, and n sub z, they are all equal to 0, 0, 0. So this gives me the lowest possible energy of this oscillator, E000, which is um, h bar omega 1 plus 1 over 2 h bar omega 2. And I can see that there is only one combination of uh, quantum numbers that gives me this answer. So this is the ground state energy 
and there is only one state. Now, if I analyze the first excited state, first excited state, this has uh, the following possibilities. So let me try. n sub x is equal to 1 n sub y is equal to 0, n sub z is equal to 0. So this gives me an energy, E100 energy, that's equal to, uh, you can see here, if one of them is 1, this is going to be 2h bar omega 1, 2h bar omega 1, plus uh, h bar 1 over 2, h bar omega 2. Now let me try nx is equal to 0, ny is equal to 1, and z is equal to 0 combination. This is the energy corresponding to 0, 1, 0. It's the same because uh, we have an x plus ny in the first term. So 2 h bar omega 1 plus 1 over 2 h bar omega 2. And let me try nx is equal to 0, ny is equal to 0, and z is equal to 1. Now, if that's the case, you can see these terms are 0. I will get h bar omega 1 plus 3 over 2 h bar omega 2. So I will have a different answer. E001 is h bar omega 1 plus 3 over 2 h bar omega 2. Now, I have the following relationship between the force constants. Let me double check. k1 prime is greater than k2 prime. So since I have k1 prime greater than k2 prime, omega 1, which is square root of k1 prime, is greater than omega 2. So if I compare these two energies, E100 with E001, uh, so these two, I will get 2 h bar omega 1 minus h bar omega 1, uh, which is h bar omega 1. And then here I have 1 half h bar omega 2 minus 3 halves h bar omega 2 minus h bar omega 2. This is in h bar parentheses, omega 1 minus omega 2, and I know omega 1 is greater than omega 2, so this is greater than 0. This is telling me that this energy is greater than this energy, and likewise this energy is greater than this energy, so these are not the energies of the first excited state. So, what is my conclusion? So I reached the conclusion that n sub x is equal to 0, n sub y is equal to 0, n sub z is equal to 1. This combination with the corresponding energy of h bar omega 1 plus 3 over 2 h bar omega 2 is, the, is only one state. And that's the first excited state. So this is my final answer. Um, if I also, just to make sure, also check uh, E001 minus E000, E001 is h bar omega 1 plus 3 over 2 h bar omega 2. E000 is h bar omega 1 plus 1 half h bar omega 2. That's h bar omega 2, which is greater than 0. So this level is higher. So I can see that ground state energy is lower than uh, the energy corresponding to state 001. And that energy is lower than 
the energies of the states 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0. And therefore, there is only one state, uh, one combination of quantum numbers that gives me the first excited state. So in this problem, uh, analogous to the isotropic uh, three-dimensional harmonic oscillator, we're again assuming solutions of this form. So the wave function is a product of uh, three wave functions that depend on x only, y only, and z only. Now, writing the Schrodinger one-dimensional Schrodinger equations and noting that we have a different frequency because different force constant for the z uh, coordinates rather than x and y compared to x and y. So if we multiply it by these wave functions, uh, we get the three-dimensional anisotropic harmonic oscillator a Schrodinger equation, where we note that the potential energy has been modified to include this uh, different k value for the z-coordinate axis, and also the corresponding energy levels are different. It's nx plus ny plus 1 h bar omega 1, and in parentheses nz plus 1 half multiplied by h bar omega 2 where these frequencies are different. Now, trying different combinations of quantum numbers, 0, 0, 0, I note is the lowest possible energy. And first excited state, I tried uh, one of the quantum numbers being 1. I noticed that when nz is 1, I get the lowest possible energy, as noted here, which corresponds to only one state, as opposed to the three-dimensional isotropic harmonic oscillator, where I had three states corresponding to the first excited level. Okay.